Hello everyone, today we have the Lego icon so placer in front of us. So this is a set depicting women's football and now it's the perfect timing with the FIFA Women's World Cup happening in New Zealand. As a football fan, I am very excited to open this up, build it and then share my detailed thoughts on this set today. Without further ado, let's kick it off.
finished building the icons of play. This is really the perfect timing with the FIFA Women's World Cup kicking off. Uh, so you get to build half a pitch of the uh, football field, uh, a bench, uh, a uh, award stand and also a uh, stand with lots of supporters. And to be honest, I was quite surprised how much time needed uh, to build this. Uh, there are actually quite a few uh, details, especially um, you know, hidden inside uh, this supporter stand here. And without further ado, let's just take a look at the individual build. Uh, starting from the uh, small one, you do get some uh, equipment like water bottles and a uh, water barrel, some cones for practicing, and then you've got this uh, bench here for uh, you know the, the substitutes to sit on the bench, and of course you have the coach here, which we'll go into details on the mini figures later on. But I really like um, how this uh, bench shape up. It really looks like um, you know some of the bench on the uh, modern stadium. You do get like you know a clear parts here, but I wish you also get something clear to cover this area up. But you know I don't think Lego has such pieces yet. Um, so we'll have to wait for those type of pieces to release to make a modification. And I find it interesting to have an umbrella here. But um, overall, this is a pretty cool um, you know side bench. Moving on, we've got this here for um, the winning team to receive the award. So you've got a few places uh, to place your minifigure and at the center stage uh, for the captain or whoever the main player to lift the trophy. Um, it's quite interesting, but I wish it's a little bit bigger. Moving on to uh, the football field, uh, it's actually quite big, but then it's not really in scale for you know 11 aside, it looks like. Uh, more a five as high uh, street football uh, type of feel. Um, even though it's half a pitch, uh, you don't get the center circle here. I wish here you do get you know the the center circle part or at least a spot for uh, uh, the kickoff spot uh, like the uh, you know goal area here. I do like the use of uh, different uh, green color to create the uh, texture of the uh, pitch. However, you do get you know some exposed cuts here with you know no purpose or well you can give you know the substitutes and some other mini figure to stand uh, on this side and there's no uh, stickers or any decoration uh, for the uh, sponsors. There's something quite modern though like you do get a uh, uh, on on the pitch monitor uh, for a VAR check and then this side you've got the uh, Camera uh, to to film um, you know the, the match in progress and you got two uh, soccer ball here as well. The goal though, I wish they include some nets because uh, here like if you shoot the ball then it will go somewhere. You need a ball boy uh, to pick it up, but you do able to uh, move the goalie a little bit. But you can see you know this this is how far the goalkeeper can move so there's lots of uh, space for you to aim to uh, score a goal um, there's not much play feature you know compared to you know one of the classic set uh, there's lots more play feature in terms of you know enjoying a, a football game right now it's just a minifigure standing on a stand like this so you're gonna move the ball around uh, you can't really post your minifigure uh, well actually you can you can post your minifigure uh, showing them uh, shooting uh, a, a ball like this uh, but then yeah the overall um, you know play style is just you move the minifigure along the pitch like this and you only get you know two from each team which makes sense with this size and only half a pitch and now we take a look at the uh, supporter stand so there's only one section you don't get a, a full stadium but this is by far my uh, favorite part of this set uh, rather than the uh, football pitch, um, you do get large stickers here, which is uh, pretty hard to apply, but good use of the masonry brick uh, here uh, to create some of the texture. I also like the uh, spotlight here. You do get some uh, action feature here to uh, you know change the scoreboard, but unfortunately, it's only go up to five. So if your team win more than five goals, uh, I don't know how you can uh, make that you know reflect the score here. Uh, but then you know the overall the, the spotlight is pretty cool. There are lots of um, little details hidden uh, within this view to create um, the 
the action features so you see this here so if you spin you know the you can see all the supporters like kind of you know jumping around and this can be like removed quite easily so this is how, how it works so you, you place the minifigure and slide into the gap and then if you move here then they, they will start moving but make sure that you push all the way down and you can see how it works here you know, I think here it's a bit tight uh, when I put everything in so it doesn't work, work that well but basically you're gonna see some sort of Mexican wave Another highlight of this set is uh, it includes lots of mini figures. So instead of uh, football players, uh, they're including lots of spectators and also a referee. It all comes with uh, some unique hair pieces and also um, facial expressions. Uh, it's quite hard to tell uh, which one is uh, new to this set, but you, you do see a variation of those. And most of them have alternate facial expressions as well. And there are four actual footballers included in this set. Uh, I wish they included more of them. Uh, they are in the uh, Lego uh, football uniform. However, uh, they do have the name uh, printed and the numbers at the back. So this is, um, you know, one of the exclusive point of this. And uh, these are all very famous players. So if you got Rapino. Uh, Yuki uh, Nagasato here uh, because of her hairstyles I have to remove her hair to show you her number and then uh, the Nigerian uh, forward uh, Oshoala and then uh, Australian legend uh, Sam Kerr and you can see um, they kind of uh, replicate um, the, the face pretty well uh, with their unique uh, hairstyle and this is um, specific for uh, Rapino, the, the pink hair, and you do get uh, some extra hair pieces uh, for uh, Samko and also Ala uh, for a uh, alternate hairstyle. And this is something new uh, the dreadlock hair in black. Uh, you do uh, get the brown color in some upcoming uh, dream set, but I really like the fact that they include uh, the black color here. And this is the Lego icons of plays. I do like this set personally just because I really love football and having, you know, four actual plays included in this set is a plus for me. I also like the uh, spectator stands and the action feature, even though my one didn't work as well as it should be because it's supposed to be all four rows kind of jumping up and down. Uh, but I think it's just due to the fact that maybe um, some of my pieces a bit, um, you know, the, the way that I put the pieces together uh, didn't give it enough space so your one might work uh, but it's just mine having said that it does feel like you know a couple of small set kind of uh, smashed together rather than one uh, coherent set uh, but I guess it's fine because of the target audience this is really a, a play set rather than a, a display piece and it's a shame that you only get half a pitch to be honest maybe sacrifice one of the bigger view and then having a full-size pitch would be better but if you need to buy two of this to create a full-size pitch and it will get very expensive and compared to previous uh, football related sets uh, you just can't beat the original one in terms of uh, the, the play feature because this one is a flat surface uh, then you, you kind of play like this um, so it does lack the excitement of you know able to shoot the ball even though they they give you you know some movement on the goalkeeper pricing wise is uh, a bit expensive without um, you know any special or discount having said that Lego sets uh, um, tends to get very expensive lately um, and especially if the set includes lots of mini figures Luckily for me, um, you know, this set was on sale for the uh, VIP weekend a few weeks earlier. So they do, um, you know, apply a 20% off discount on this set. So it just makes it a bit more reasonable in terms of price. This set is definitely not for everyone, even though it's a fun set to build and there's some cool, you know, play features. But unless you're a football fan or you are looking for some unique uh, mini figures, and it's pretty hard to justify uh, the price tag for you know people just buy this uh, as a Lego set. 
Let me know what you think about this set in the comment section below. If you like this video, be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming updates. And I'll see you next time.